welcome everybody. I'm Zhou Ai, and I'm Tu Ai. And today is the perfect day for a fantastic book review. Have you ever thought about a word in which reading and discussing a book is a crime? This may sound unbelievable and impossible to happen, but in Fahrenheit 451, written by Ray Bradbury in 1953, this word was chillingly real. This masterpiece depicts a dystopian future where books are banned and burned by firemen. The narrator is Guy Montag, who works as a fireman, secretly keeps some books, which after cause an internal conflict for Montag about whether to continue doing his job or to follow his heart and preserve the books. Another very interesting fact about this book is that its title is actually the temperature at which a book catches fire. So, to I, who recommended it to you? Actually, nobody recommend this for me. I was scrolling through the TED page and I found a video reviewing this book, and it was so interesting for me that after watching the video, I decided to dive right into the book. Really, I have the same way of discovering the book. I mean. I came across this on my bookshelf, so I randomly picked it up. Luckily, it turns out to be one of the best books I've ever read. So, do you have for yourself one thing that you love or hate? Well, one thing that scared me in the book is that the media control everything. Like they provide shows that go on all day and all night, and make the citizens sing into the continuous happiness, and just forget everything and stay away from books. Yes. I feel like the word in the book is terrifying. The media is so powerful that it persuades people to just watch TV and don't read book because books are bad. And because of that, the author wants to deliver a hidden death,、uh, like through the idea of making books illegal. He made me realize how luring, intriguing, and mysterious books are. Besides this, I also really like the way our main character Montag is portrayed in a very realistic way. Okay. Um. So, do you have a favorite line in the book?、Uh, of course, I do. Like it's very simple. Like this, there is nothing magic in them at all. The magic is only in what books say, how they stitched the patches of the universe together in one garment for us. I feel like the quote concisely. Embodies the power of books.、Uh, what's even more meaningful to me is that this quote seems to tell people that books unite knowledge, thus connecting everybody who is willing to learn. Yeah, I agree. Like books' ability to connect people is really important in the world where people are living so fast and so distant from each other. I think that. That also works in the real society, as many people are becoming more similar to the citizen in the book. Yes, I agree. Like in the present day, people use phones and social media way too much. So I really hope that they can hear this quote, so that they can see how powerful books are and how they can change their lives. So let's wrap up. Can you tell me why everybody should read this masterpiece? I think that there are some reasons why people should read this book. The first one may be that the author is very creative when portraying the narrator's feeling. There are parts that are so intense that I feel like I was jumping with thrill. And another thing might be that I like the ending because it emphasizes the fact that the kind of society that doesn't value books and wisdom will eventually collapse. So I give this ten out of ten. Mm, That's a very high score, and I think I give the same score too. I always felt excited whenever I read this book. The plot is extremely gripping and creative. Like through the loss of something, in this case, it is books.、Uh, Ray Bradbury emphasizes the importance of its existence.、Uh, the book also raises some questions, like how can we preserve books, and how can we rekindle the love for these. Invaluable works of mankind. This is like a book that will make you question yourself and ponder about a lot of things. Yeah, I think this book is truly a must-read. That's it for today's review. Thank you for listening. 